All right, compound inequalities. Let me get this so you guys can see it. Compares two inequalities. It's great. Disjunction is just the union. It means that the two don't have to intersect. If it's part of one set of numbers, then it's part of the union. Okay? So if you have two companies and they have a union with each other, then it doesn't matter which company you work for, you are part of the union. Is that how that works in real life? I don't actually know. Sorry for my ignorance. Conjunction is if you have, you'd have to work for both. So then you would be considered the intersection or conjunction. I don't know if that goes along with that video, conjunction, junction, what's your function? Is that, is that a different, is it a whole different word? I just know junction's part of it. Wait. Because Venn diagrams allow us to assume that you just understand it by looking at it. And because it's so colorful, you can stare at it and be entertained for hours, right? But uh, the purple there, right, if we mixed blue and red would have purple. So it's the intersection. That's very clever of them. Go on anyways, because the examples hopefully clarify this. So we're going to graph this set. If we have the variable x such that x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than or equal to 10. So let's graph these one at a time. I'm going to graph this inequality first in red. So let's look at some numbers on the number line. Here I've got negative 2. In relation, this is where 0 would be. And if I wanted to make this kind of proportional, it would maybe look like this. So if I'm looking at negative 2, I've got x is less than negative 2. So, since the inequality is not equal to, we're going to have a curve parenthesis at negative 2. Since it's not eating the x, we know that it goes to the left. And we're going to use that curvy parenthesis like that. So that's graphing the 1. Now if I graph this other one, x is greater than or equal to 10. See how it's eating the x, so the line will definitely go to the right. And since it's also equal to, in this part, it's going to be a square bracket opening up that way. Now, since this is an OR statement, it means that, of course, it just needs to be part of one or the other. So if I look at this red line, as far to the left as that goes would be negative infinity. And if we move it to the right, it's going to stop at negative 2. And then we just use the bracket that we use there curve parenthesis and since this is an or statement we're going to unite this with the union starting at negative 10 moving to the I'm uh, not negative 10 but 10 starting at 10 moving to the right this will go as far to the right as infinity which is never included infinity is never included because it's undefined 